Right now, choose any new 20 Mazda and get 0% for 60 months, plus 90 days deferred payments during the Team Mazda Upgrade event happening now at Team Mazda on Airline. Hi, business owners. Phase three. Woohoo! But do your customers know you're back? Well, that's where the Clarence Bug Show and Pelican Broadcasting can help. Right now, we've got great rates on advertising packages to help you get the word out. Shoot me an email at bugsclarence at gmail.com. Or better yet, call me up. I'd love to talk with you. 225-485-6839. Let's get together and make phase three the best it can possibly be. They said I could find you here. Why are you fishing? Our company's got to ship out two full color brochures and 20 color copies. You're killing me. It's done. Designed, printed, packaged, and shipped. How? You just got to know the right people. Baker Printing, the printing people. How come you get to fish in this private lake? Like I said, you just got to know the right people. You can know the right people too. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. spend some time with you this morning. Hopefully, you caught the exiles a little earlier on and you decided to stick around and spend some time with your buddy Clarence. As if, oh, that always helps. Yeah, a microphone. Imagine that, right? Imagine that, right? Wow, way to go, Marty. Better late than never, my friend. You know, um, as crazy as 2020 has been, hurricane after hurricane after hurricane, COVID-19, now we entertain lions and tigers and bears oh my and throw some snakes in there as well and no i'm not kidding i'm not kidding the louisiana department of wildlife and fisheries now issuing an advisory this week making us aware that with all the recent flooding from the hurricanes and tropical storms there is a distinct possibility if you are out and about enjoying the bounty that nature has afforded us here in the great state of Louisiana, you might want to be on your guard because there are animals that have been displaced and now may be in areas where normally we wouldn't find them. Melissa Collins is a biologist and the permits coordinator with our very own Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries and joins us to talk about this in segment one. Melissa, good morning and how are you today? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on. You are certainly welcome. So what sort of wildlife are we talking about here, Melissa? Well, it's going to range anywhere from the usual suspects, you know, possums, raccoons, squirrels, snakes. Um, you may see occasional uh, social and or herding animals, maybe mm -hmm. deer, feral hogs. And for some of some folks who live on the actual coast, they may see stranded mammals, um, you know, maybe dolphins and sea turtles. Okay. Uh, I noticed that bears, Louisiana black bears, were not mentioned in that. Did I just miss that, or is there a particular reason? <laughs> no. Well, these guys, you know, they've made a comeback. However, they're still not as common as, you you know, you would see maybe a possum or a raccoon or a squirrel. Right. So they certainly can be displaced, uh, especially in southwest Louisiana, um, where they call home. But it would be, you know, uh, unusual for you to see many of them. Maybe one, but certainly not a, you know, a whole region seeing a bear or multiple bears at one time. As an individual that is probably more familiar than anyone else with the wildlife that we can encounter here in the southern part of our state, which of these animals would you be most concerned about and why? 
Well, certainly I would be most concerned about the little small creatures, you know, especially uh, venomous snakes. Um, we have several species, but, you know, when individuals return to their homes to remove debris and, you know, move things out, um, these, these guys, they like to hide in these very small spaces. So when you, you, you return to your home and you're removing items, you want to be very careful about where you place your hands. You know, make sure you scoot things around a little bit. Give these guys the space if they are in there. Maybe lift something up with another board to make sure that they're not hiding in there. But because they're so small and they hide in these small spaces, I'd be a little more concerned about them. These other guys are a little bit larger. You're going to see them before you ever uncover them. Mm -hmm. You know, here in South Louisiana, we are certainly animal lovers. And we had this tendency sometimes, bless our hearts, oh, look, it's so cute, and I've never seen one like this before. And, and sometimes it's hard to fight that temptation to get up close and or to feed these animals. Is it ever a good idea to offer food to wild animals, Melissa? No, absolutely not. So the first thing is you want to exercise caution. These animals have kind of been blown off of their normal um, habitat, so they're a little bit confused. They're looking for food, but you shouldn't feed them. They are not. They don't need to be dependent upon you. And once you begin to feed them, they will remain. You're just encouraging behaviors that later on you're going to be very upset that you know that they're still there. Right. Um, and you know once you feed one, then all of them show up. So allow these guys to do their thing. Allow them to adapt to their new surroundings. If by chance we were to find animals that have either been stranded or or dislocated, and we happen upon them, what is the recommended course of action? Okay, so the basic advice, um, and this was printed in our publication following the storm, avoid the areas where these animals were displaced or have taken refuge. Um, and avoid interaction with them, and again, please do not feed them. They are capable of taking care of themselves. These animals have adapted to, or the species have adapted to these storms and events. Um, avoid the roadways near flooded areas. And this will reduce the likelihood of disturbance and possible collisions with wildlife. Mm -hmm. The possibility of these animals becoming acclimated after being displaced, is that something that your agency worries about could develop into nuisance animals if in fact we feed them, uh, get close to them, and remove that natural fear that they have of humans? Sure, absolutely. Um, again, you, you know, you don't want to encourage them to stick around. Let them figure out where the new place, you know, to find food and seek shelter. Um, so, of course, if, if someone's feeding them, it will encourage their behaviors, and inevitably they may destroy your property, um, and so then we'll expect to have those sorts of calls. So in order to avoid those calls, it's best to be preemptive and allow these animals to do what they would normally do. Fantastic. Melissa Collins is a wildlife biologist and the permits coordinator for our very own Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Melissa, thank you so much for the time and be safe out there. Thank you for having me on, Clarence. You're quite welcome. Good folks over at LDWF, they uh, always make time to share information with us. And uh, quite frankly, with so many of us having either discovered or rediscovered nature's bounty, the great outdoors, whatever term you want to use in the wake of COVID-19, there is the possibility that going out on that hunting trip, that fishing trip, that hiking trip, whatever, that you may end up encountering something that uh, could lead to a very unpleasant experience. And uh, I, I did not ask, and I guess I should have, shame on me, that if in fact uh, you encounter one of the venomous species of snakes here in Louisiana, uh, the best way to avoid them. Well, I mean, the obvious, you know, the ounce of prevention worth more than the pound of cure. Just, just keep your distance. If you're out hiking, hunting, what have you. <laughs> and, and this speaks volumes to what we've become in this country. I was about to say, Watch where you put your feet. Duh, watch where you stick your hands. Duh, 
under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have to say these things. But then again, we have become a country where it is now necessary to spend additional money printing on the package of lawnmower blades. Do not attempt to sharpen blade while motor is running. We have now become the country where we have to spend more for an automotive fan belt because they have to print extra warnings. Do not attempt to change fan belt while motor is running. So I would rather err on the side of caution. Class, you knew that snake could bite me. Why didn't you tell me something? Well, I figured you had enough common sense on your own to figure that out without Clarence having to tell you. But hey, that's what we've become these days. Still to come on today's show. Oh, some political developments. It's October. Surprise! And I love it when things just fall into place. Remember we had a conversation, I guess maybe a month and a half ago, around the theme, politics makes strange bedfellows. If you've never heard that old adage, nutshell synopsis, Politics is such that it's the art of compromise. And many times, people from opposing sides of the political spectrum have to work together to get things done. And no, I wish I could tell you that, you know, Republicans and Democrats have decided they're going to stop being jack legs and they're going to work together and get this next stimulus package passed. That ain't what I'm talking about here. Sorry, English teachers didn't give y'all the heads up in that regard. But, um, my man Ice Cube, internationally known rapper, uh, original member of NWA, and uh, y'all probably remember he, he's credited with being a part of the whole anti-police movement, F the police, you know, had a song out with that, the whole nine. Well, he now is catching heat all over social media. What did he do? Huh. He found out Republicans are willing to work with him on the contract with black America while the Democrats blew him off. Going to make for some interesting conversation in that regard. And of course, the October surprise never seems, <laughs> never seems to disappoint. And uh, it's amazing how right after this story broke, the Biden campaign put a lid on all public appearances, except the virtual fundraiser. Vice president candidate Kamala Harris. Oh, uh, we had two people to come down with COVID-19 in our travel party. And while we don't have to quarantine, we are going to, um, we're going to be out of the public eye until Monday. Now, I might have been born at night, but it wasn't last night. We all know what this is about. We're going to talk about that and a whole lot more when we continue on after our first break of hour one on the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show, right where you've got it, here and only here on the Pelican. Stay close. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. Four three four five. 
From appetizers, pasta dishes, and entrees, La Cantea takes pride in preparing all the Italian cuisine we know you love. Enjoy live music every Thursday through Saturday from 6 to 9, happy hour weekdays from 3 to 6, and brunch on Sundays from 11 to 2, as well as dinner portion-sized lunch specials for under $10. Visit our website to view our menu and book a party or meeting in our large banquet room. Once you try La Cantea, your Italian dining will change forever. You could be driving. Right now, during the Team Honda Upgrade event, get a new 20 Accord Sport for just $309 a month with no money down, no first payment, and no security deposit. It's time to upgrade to your new Honda at Louisiana's number one new car dealer, Team Honda, on Segan Lane. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. By all standards, he is a champion for consumers. Because of Public Service Commissioner Eric Spremetta, our utility rates are 35% less than the national average, the lowest in all of America. He saved ratepayers over $8 billion. Commissioner Scrametta brought us more reliable power plants and energy-efficient solar fields. Public Service Commissioner Eric Scrametta. Keep the commissioner who keeps our rates low. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, uh, one of the things that um, is interesting, is insightful, is probably unique to the human species, is that the older you get, the more wisdom you acquire and the more opportunities you have to see the wisdom of those who have come before us. If you think back to when you were 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, you thought your parents were the stupidest people on the planet. But if you're lucky enough to live to be 40, 50, 60, whatever, you start to realize because you encounter examples that make you go, wow, my parents were a whole lot smarter than I gave them credit for. My late father, God bless him, was fond of the saying, there's a right way and a wrong way to say anything. L let me put that another way. He would interpret that by telling us, you can say anything to anybody, and you can say anything, but it's how you say it that makes the difference. When you get up in someone's face, you've got a scowl on your face, you're using vulgar language, all these sorts of things, people automatically shut down. When you force an issue on people, they shut down. Let me give you all a little trick that I learned. My late brother, God bless him, told me, he said, man, when you encounter someone that you need to do something for you, and you have this inkling, or you know for a fact that they are going to be against what you're asking them to do. When you approach them, use this term. Explain what's going on and then say, I need your help. Automatically, you can literally see that the, their defenses start to drop. Why? Because everybody wants to feel needed. Everybody wants to feel useful. Everyone wants to feel like, well, if nothing else happens in this horrible day, at least I was able to help 
somebody. Enter the NBA, fresh off the heels of the worst television viewing audience for the NBA Finals in the history of the league. And you've probably noticed how the NBA, the owners, the mainstream liberal media, they've all tried to downplay this as, well, it's because of COVID-19 and people's schedules are different and there's political season going on and all sorts of excuses they've made as to why Americans are tuning out by the millions. Well, this week, Bob Costas, legendary NBC sports broadcaster and probably the biggest social justice broadcaster out there in an interview told Outkick quote it doesn't matter where you fall on the political spectrum it's just a fact that there is alienation over having this social justice messaging thrust in everyone's face every time you just want to watch a game. I'm not saying that to take a stand. That's just the reality. This is also a business. Boom. Drop the mic, walk off the stage. They are not going to be satisfied until they killed the goose that laid the golden egg. But <laughs> it shows you what these folks think of you. Now, who in their right minds? Let me ask you this. You're a business owner, okay? Even a hypothetical. You open whatever business you've always wanted to open, thought about open, opening, never thought about opening. Would it ever be a good idea to insult half of your customers? Show of hands. Who thinks that's a good idea? I can see y'all through the TV. Yeah, didn't think so. Didn't think so. It's never a good idea to insult half of your customers. Remember, go back to when I told you, here's a little trick to use. Had the NBA, when all of this hoopla and furor started, had they simply said, America, we need your help. We've got a problem in this country. It is affecting black folks disproportionately. We want to stop it. We need your help. America would have rallied to your cause like 40 going north. But no, uh-uh, you got to spend your time telling America how racist it is. You got to spend all your time shoving in people's faces how evil America is. Now, let's, let's understand something here. As an American, you have the right to do that. Just like as an American, I have the right to reach for that remote and get your sorry behind off my TV. That street runs both ways. And at the end of the day, you are the one that needs help. So to approach a person that you desperately need help from in that manner, <laughs> never ever is that a good idea. Oh, and speaking of, <laughs> never a good idea. Have you heard the, the furor now over Ice Cube, rapper slash actor? <laughs> they are crucifying this brother on social media. Come to find out, you may have heard about Ice Cube's contract with black America. It is an ambitious project to bring millions of jobs to the black community. 
billions of dollars in economic development and business opportunities to the black community. Ice Cube, for his part, reached out with this contract with black America. He gave it to the Republicans and he gave it to the Democrats. The Democrats said, well, we'll get back with you after the election. Donald Trump said, hmm, I like this. I can work with this. Let's get started on it right now. So now, Ice Cube is a sellout because he accepted help from Donald Trump for a community that desperately needs it. Let me ask you something. The most ardent racist on the planet is in the middle of a huge lake. Let's say Toledo Bend up in Shreveport. He's fishing. Both capsizes, doesn't have a life jacket. This person is the most hardcore racist on the planet. His boat sinks, no life jacket. Been treading water for four hours. The first boat that comes along has a black guy in it. Sticks his hand out. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. The most hardcore racist on the planet is gonna grab that black man's hand to save his life. Why? Because he needs help. He doesn't care where it comes from. I need help. I'm about to drown. And the black community is drowning. The Democrats said, well, get back with me after the election. We'll talk about it. Well, what happens if you lose? What happens if you lose? You are talking about the most loyal segment of the Democrat Party, black folk, lining up, running down the street to the polls to vote Democrat. But when I come to you with a plan to help the most loyal part of your base, what do you tell me? Well, get back with me after the election and we'll talk about it. <laughs> and you thought, they had your best interest in mind. Funny how that works, isn't it? Some of y'all ain't going to get that till later. That's all right. Long as you get it. Doesn't make you a bad person. Makes you an American. And the sooner we all decide that we're not going to be hyphenated American here, hyphenated by color, hyphenated by whatever, we're just going to be Americans, the better off all of us are going to be. Then you don't have to go hat in hand begging Republicans, begging Democrats, begging Socialists. You can get off your butt and do it on your standing on your own two feet. Ask Ice Cube. He'll tell you. A little something to make you go, hmm. Bottom of the hour break. Let me knock this out. Oh, when we come back, <laughs> it's October. Surprise. That's next on this edition of the Clarence Bug Show, right where you've got it, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. 
So every year, we get back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Jaguar Nation, we need your help in masking up Louisiana. Masking up or slow the spread of COVID-19. During this time, we must continue to wear a mask. Wash your hands and practice social distancing. It's important that we continue to abide by the CDC's guidelines to stop the spread. Jaguar Nation, we challenge you to mask up. Go Jags! Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Today's the day to score thousands in savings on a new Toyota during the upgrade event at Team Toyota. Choose the all-new redesigned 2020 Highlander and get $17.50 customer cash. Let today be the day you score thousands in savings at Team Toyota. I-12 at O'Neill. They said I could find you here. Why are you fishing? Our company's got to ship out two full color brochures and 20 color copies. You're killing me. It's done. Designed, printed, packaged, and shipped. How? You just got to know the right people. Baker Printing, the printing people. How come you get to fish in this private lake? Like I said, you just got to know the right people. You can know the right people too. Edition of the Clarence Bud Show. We um, had been given some inkling, and for those of us that, you know, follow politics closely, if not religiously, we knew that there were going to be some things to probably happen before Election Day that would be pretty big in scope. It's always, that's why we always called it the October Surprise. Yesterday, the New York Post debuted a story about a recovered laptop, allegedly, that belonged to Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's troubled son. The information, emails, disturbing videos encapsul encapsulate this huge number of improprieties. And of course, there is the hot topic of Burisma, the Ukrainian energy company that Hunter Biden, despite not having any experience in the energy sector, was able to get a job making anywhere from $53,000 to $80,000 a month. This is the same company that Joe Biden, on tape, in speaking to the Council on Foreign Relations, openly bragged about the fact that he told government officials in Ukraine, if you don't fire this prosecutor that's investigating Burisma, this $1 billion in foreign aid that our administration has pledged to you ain't gonna happen. In his words, and I'll quote loosely, I told them I'm getting on a plane in six hours. If this prosecutor is not fired, you don't get the money. And SOB, he didn't say that, he said the full blown Monty. And SOB, guess what? They fired him. I found it particularly.
particularly interesting and even more so disturbing last night. After this story broke, Twitter decides no one can post about this story. Not only can you not comment on the story, you cannot post a link to the story. The backlash was immediate and severe. We're talking about here an established media outlet. This is not some anonymous blogger. This is not some nut job no one's ever heard of posting a story, trying to cast negative dispersions or throw mud. It's an established media outlet. So last night, as all of this is unfolding, starting yesterday, I made it a point as I always do. I immediately went to every mainstream media outlet's website. ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, MS, LSD, I mean MS, NBC, went to all of them, not a peep. <laughs> Immediately it came to my mind, the old question, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, of course it does, you idiot. Basic laws of physics tells us something with that much mass, when it falls, impacts something like the ground, it's going to make a sound. Just because the media, mainstream, tries to hide the story, just because Twitter won't allow its hundreds of millions of users to comment on it, does not mean it's going to go away. On this laptop, allegedly, are thousands of documents. Videos, we're not gonna get into the video thing because there may be kids in the room. You'll have to find that out on your own. But Twitter, for their part, said, well, the reason we did this, this came after the backlash. The reason we did this is because uh, we don't know if this violates our policy on hacking or not. Well, there was no hacking. It was taken off a hard drive from a computer that was taken to a shop to be repaired. So what's the problem here? But more important than that, why didn't Twitter follow those same rules with the Trump story about his tax returns. Why didn't they follow the same rules, principles, on the story about Trump insulting the military? Why didn't they follow that same set of rules talking about the Russia collusion story and any number of other stories? Why didn't they follow the same rules there? Now, interestingly, ironically, right after this story broke, the Biden campaign put a lid on all other public appearances that day. Interestingly, Kamala Harris, his VP running mate, announced well, we got two people in our travel party that have tested positive for COVID-19. So we gonna forego all public appearances uh, until Monday. We don't have, you know, we don't have to observe any CDC guidelines for quarantine, but we gonna be out of the public's eye until Monday. Now, <laughs> listen y'all, again, I might've been born at night, but it wasn't last night. We all know what this is. Stay out the public eye, 
avoid any situation where the media might be there and they can ask you about this story. And this is an indictment on us. They know full well the American citizenry has the attention span of a gnat. You ever watch a gnat, you get one in the kitchen, and he'll fly around and he'll land on this. A couple seconds later, that sucker flying around, land on something else. A few seconds later, flying around, land on something else. That's what we've become as people in this country. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris understand if we can just stay out the public eye for the weekend, by Monday, there'll be something else and they will have forgotten about this. <laughs> Newsflash, Hoss. This ain't going away anytime soon. When you are talking thousands of pages of documents, and let's understand something here. We grown, in, in, in the words of the late Bernie Mac, we can talk, we family. We family, we can talk. If this story had been about Donald Trump's son instead of Joe Biden's son, oh my God, you can bet, and I'm not a betting man, y'all know that. I work too hard for my money to go out and play it on a game of chance. I don't bet. But I'll take odds on this. Twitter would not have done, if it was Joe Biden's, if it was Donald Trump's son, what they did because it's Biden's son. The mainstream media, no way on God's green earth would they have stayed away from this story. Oh, Lord, it would have been on every major network 24-7. Couldn't get away from it. If it's good for the goose, it ought to be good for the gander. And at the end of the day, it's supposed to be about what is best for America. Now this should tell you something. If you are of the liberal persuasion, Democrat, independent, whomever, and you're sitting there right now saying, what is this story Clarence is talking about? That ought to tell you everything you need to know. Which is why, after Twitter did what they did, oh, and by the way, the Senate Judiciary Committee today announcing they are going to issue a subpoena for the head of Twitter. You need to get your behind down here and explain yourself. You got some splaining to do, Lucy. But this is why you don't get news and form opinions off Twitter. I have a friend, professional, in communications, and makes no bones about saying, man, first thing I do when I get up in the morning, before I get out of bed, I check my Twitter feed. I'm like, you freaking idiot. <laughs> really? Of course, now, I guess I have to understand. Clarence, you just said the mainstream media not going to give us the story. Sometimes that's the only place we can go to get it. And you might have a somewhat valid point. But there's this marvelous, incredible new invention. Some of y'all may not have heard about it just yet. It's, it's relatively new. I understand that. But this incredible invention allows you to access in seconds all the knowledge that mankind has accumulated since the beginning of our existence. It's called the freaking Internet. Do your homework, do your research, and stop swallowing by the mouthful this crap that they feed us, or in this case, refuse to feed us. I just hope the rest of y'all get it before it's too late. Speaking of late, 
later on my final break. Let me bang this puppy out. We'll come back, put a big old pretty bow on this thing, and wrap up the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show right here on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats, taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Surprise! Something good has finally happened in 2020. Yours truly, The Clarence Bug Show, gets to be with you every day of the week. That's right, 11 to 12 every weekday. And of course, The Exiles, right in front of yours truly, from 10 to 11, yours truly, 11 to 12. So now, it's appointment viewing. Five days a week, here on The Pelican. The Clarence Bug Show, the only thing missing is you. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back for the final segment of the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. I, I, I hope that I don't jinx it. Knock on laminate covered particle board. We're heading into a weekend. Should I say it, Marty? Do it? And we don't have a hurricane bearing down on us. Oh my God, he just jinxed us. Oh my God, there's going to be another one coming next weekend. It is going to be so refreshing this weekend. And another cool front coming through. And uh, I'm, I'm a cold weather guy. I love my cold weather. And well, Clarence, you were born in Germany. We expect that. Well, no, 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 I, that may biologically have a little something to do with it. I don't know. But I'm one that's of the opinion. You can always put on more clothes. But there's only so much you can take off before the police, social services, mental health agency is going to come and ask you, what's wrong with you, bro? You, you, you follow me? And for me, all the real killer clothes are cold weather clothes. I mean, that's when you get to wear your gloves and your scarves and your hats and your tweeds and your wool blends and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, bring it on, y'all. Bring on the cold weather. I am ready for it. You know, um, we will look back, many of us, at this year, 2020, as we start turning that corner and heading toward 2021. And 
most of us will be so happy to see this puppy go. And years from now, we will probably still be trying to figure out if there was a year that be, could begin to approach the insanity of what we've watched this year. It, uh, it occurred to me last night after reading a particular story. 2020 is like the book 1984 and the movie Idiocracy got together and had a baby and they named him 2020. It's like Idiocracy and 1984 came together and now we got 2020. Have you heard this story? <laughs> you all saw, those of you that keep up with politics and, and, and watch the news, you saw where Amy Coney Barrett's confirmation hearings for the Supreme Court to replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Senator from Hawaii, Maisie Hirono, informed Amy Coney Barrett I noticed you use the term sexual preference. I don't know if you know it or not, but that term is outdated and it's offensive. So being the person that she is, Amy Coney Barrett said, well, you know, I, I apologize. I didn't mean to, you know, be offensive. That's just a term we've always used. <laughs> One day later, Merriam-Webster's dictionary has now changed the definition of sexual preference to being an outdated and offensive term. Now get this, get this y'all. In the last couple of years, <laughs> presidential contender Joe Biden has used that term repeatedly. Congressman Dick Durbin has used that term repeatedly. The head of the Democrat National Committee has used that term repeatedly. Oh, and by the way, the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg used the term. But now all of a sudden, because a conservative uses the same term that Joe Biden, Dick Durbin, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg have all used, now all of a sudden, oh, we gotta change the definition of the word. You see how these people try to play us? All of a sudden, oh my God, quick, quick, get the editing pen. We gotta change the definition of this word. Really? <laughs> At some point, y'all, I am desperate in my hope that you and I Regular, average, hard-working, freedom-loving Americans are going to awake from our political slumber. We have allowed these miscreants, ooh, I wish this was not a family show so I could say what I really want to call them. We have allowed these people to usurp what this country is all about. We don't work for them. They are supposed to serve us. These clowns inhabiting the halls in Washington, D.C. are of the mistaken notion they were appointed to rule instead of elected to serve. Now, it's one thing for them to have that misguided, disjointed notion. 
It is America. You've heard me say God knows how many times buried somewhere deep in the bowels of the Constitution. It says you're an American. You got a right to be a moron. It's in there. It's got to be. You got a right to be a moron if you're an American. It's one thing for these folks to think that way. It is something else entirely for us to allow them to. My late father taught me early in life. People can only get under your skin. People can only do certain things if you allow them to do that. You walking around holding this grudge about whatever. The person you upset with, they going on about their merry way. You the one walking around huffing and puffing and fussing and fuming and carrying on. And the rest of the world just keeps on spinning round and round and round. I fear for the soul of my country. Too many people have given too much. Some, all they had for this country, the one that affords us the opportunities that people around the world are envious of. Can you name me one socialist country, Bernie Sanders, where people will walk through the desert to try to get in and be a part? Can you name me one socialist country where people will get on a freaking inner tube and float through shark infested waters to be a part of that country? Can you? Didn't think so. Maybe, just maybe, one day, you stop listening to them folks and you realize just how great America is. Not gonna hold my breath, but you know, you can't blame a brother for trying. Just saying. But you know, that's why. Every single time I'm with you, when I wrap up, you hear me say, you know what, you're right. America, we're not perfect. But doggone it for my money, it's the best there is. And God knows there is no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking to the good Lord, you do realize that he loves you, right? And I hope you know that I do too. Then again, it really doesn't matter. Because there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. I make your deal. Take care of yourselves. Let's take care of each other. We'll do it again. God bless.